Okay, so we're struggling for grips. I shut the grip, come in, okay? My foot goes to the outside. As my foot goes to the outside, my other foot's gonna come through like I'm doing a side fall. Okay? As I land on him, I see that I don't quite have the scarf hold because he still has his grip. So I'm gonna fan out and block his arm because that would be his primary escape. As I lift his elbow, then I shift into the side control. And as I do so, I'm feeding my arm under to secure the shoulder. If I can, I'll get the hand so I can feed my other arm under and feed the hand to myself and get this on the meat of the pack. And then from here, I'm gonna shift my feet, scissoring back out, and I slowly start the compression. All right, now I'll show on you. <clears throat> so, John's here. Okay, we're in here, we're struggling for grips. My outside foot fans back. My inside foot comes forward, boom. Now I notice that his arm is not secured. So rather than just struggle for the scarf hold, I'm gonna switch up instead to side control. And then I'm gonna use my forearm to feed his wrist so that I have it captured this way. Then my high hand grabs the meat of the pack into the armpit. Okay, and then I'm going to switch, and as I do so, you're slowly going to do what my childhood judo sensei would say, make him smell his belt, because we wash the uniforms, but we don't wash the belt, so he would say the belt knot gets kind of stinky. So we're going to slowly rock the cradle, make him smell his belt. So thank you to our Sambo teacher, Alan New. Aloha. Okay, sometimes, <clears throat> if it's for MMA purposes, you have the problem that uh, someone's mount, mounted and they're throwing shots, but the other person knows some jujitsu, so he's going to give me a hug and pull me in. Okay? So, now what do I do? Well, first of all, to make sure that I can maintain, I want to start getting my hooks set up. I don't necessarily want to do them both right away because I want to set them up. So instead, this arm's going to come up underneath using the radial bone. And then my other hand's gonna come across and literally be like a CPR mask. My thumb's underneath the, his tongue to prevent myself from letting him bite me. And I got a couple different ways I can play this. If I can't reach my arm because my Sambo coach Alan New says that my arms are too big, then I can also grab my gi. If there's no gi, I can actually use his shoulder for counter pressure. So I have three actions going on. There's the nightmare choke, which is the smother. I lay my chest right on my own hand for security. And then I also have the neck crank and the chest compression spinal stretch. Okay, so there's three different actions going on there. On the other side, same deal. I'm setting this up before linking up my arm. I put my palm in there to create the smother. Lay my chest right on that baby to secure it. Lean in, make sure I have my hook so I'm not too committed with my weight forward. And there she blows. Okay, so I'm stuck here in side control or scarf hold, either one doesn't matter. I'm gonna use this to get him off of me just to create a little hole. So then the dolphin's gonna dive under the wave and the rabbit's gonna come out of the rabbit hole. I'm gonna feed his head to me. Okay, and if I want to, I can make that meaner. Okay, and he's gonna be messing with me here and I can use my elbow and my leg to feed the arm to me. If there's a gi, great. If not, here. Okay. And then now that I got control of his hand, I can see how long his lifeline is and his heart line and see how many children he's going to have and whether or not he's a, a Virgo. No, I'm just kidding. So then from here I'm going to feed this up, get it under my leg, and I can double lock that and then I can pet my kitten. <laughs> okay, you can also use this if he has you in a scarf hold. But what I would need to do is restless uh, sleep or shrimp toward him a little bit to give my arm out. And then now I'm gonna feather this through and then go to here to get this same angle, okay? Now look at this trick. 
I'm using this to get the arm initially, and there's the straight arm bar. Okay? If he bends the arm, then I can go back to this one, and then you can still pet your puppy. <laughs>